Blessings, everybody. Um, I wanted to share a couple things today as I'm currently writing uh, some articles on Atlantis. I have one new blog out on it, which is uh, kind of like my personal story of discovery with Atlantis. And then I have possibly another three to four articles that I'm writing because Atlantis, of course, is one of my biggest passions, um, bringing back the healing energies of it, the love and the light. And um, while I'm while I'm researching so that I can uh, properly credit a lot of the uh, authors or teachers that I got the information from, I thought it'd be a really good idea if um, if I showed you some of the books because often in my inbox someone says to me, "Do you have any books on Atlantis you'd recommend?" Uh, yes, a thousand percent I do. So one of my very favorites, very favorites that started many, many journeys for me is Lemurian Atlantis by Shirley Andrews. Um, this is how I discovered that Lemuria was even a place because I had never heard of it before this book. And I've lent it out, um, geez, I don't even know, to probably five to 10 people. It's always found its way back to me. And I've recommended a lot of people buy this book. So that is number one. Now, what I discovered just, um, maybe it was like late last year, was that Shirley Andrews also had a book just on Atlantis. So definitely, definitely love that one. Uh, originally back in 2017, when I first started reading about Atlantis, this is another book that I really enjoyed. The Angels of Atlantis by Stuart Pierce. Uh, a little bit different. There's more. It's not purely about Atlantis, I'd have to say, actually. In the beginning, there's quite a bit about the history and the high priests and priestess of Atlantis. But then it goes into just different um, archangels and how to work with them and associated gemstones with them. But I haven't read it in a long time, and it's one of my goals in the next little while to pick it up again. Now, another one of my favorites is written by Diane Cooper, Diana Cooper, um, Discover Atlantis. I'm currently rereading this because I think I've read it twice so far, but there's so much wonderful information in there that I really wanted to do it over again and see what else I can pick up. And she also has a book that I've, I've recommended to so many people. It's uh, Dragons, Your Celestial Guardians. Um, but this book is not about Atlantis. It has uh, it has information on Atlantis. It has the Golden Atlantean Dragons, which are some of my favorite ones to work with. But it's a really amazing book um, because dragon energy is really strong and really important, actually. And that energy is coming more and more to the planet. So it's like if you like her style of writing, then you'll really enjoy the book because she's always... Um, at the end of most chapters, she'll always give you a meditation, something that you can do to lift your own vibration or that of a planet. So I really appreciate her work. Um, one that I'm reading over and over again, and you're noticing me posting with it a lot, is The Emerald Tablets of Tot the Atlantean. Uh, this is written, you know, 36,000 BC um, by, thought, by Tot, who is, you know, a high priest of Atlantis. So it's an amazing, amazing book if you can learn to get into the rhythm and the prose of it. Um, it's something that I listen to every night through the Insight Timer app, and then I go through it and I read it, and then I also post on Instagram. So I'm getting a lot of that down, um, those downloads, that wisdom, that knowledge is sticking within me. But for me personally, I feel like Todd is not only my teacher, but he's just one of my dear friends from Atlantis. And so his love for Atlantis is as equal to mine and that's why I enjoy reading it so so much um, something newer that I started reading uh, again at the end of last year I think December was The Lost Lands by Lucy Cavendish now this book is way better for those of you that love Lemuria and Avalon because you can tell the author really loves those places she kind of poo poos on Atlantis but but as Atlanteans, we also have to admit the truth. Not everything was the golden era. The golden era was quite small and quite short in length. So you have to understand other people's perspectives because not everybody had the experiences that I did in Atlantis. So 
it was hard for me to read someone that doesn't really resonate or wasn't there in the golden era because we're talking about a lot of the the faults and the corrupt morals of the Atlanteans at that time but for the whole perspective I think it's important to read she did revise it and at the end she has a nice little section about Atlantean high priestesses or priestesses like me maybe like you and um, overall it's still a great book uh, this other book I really really loved Marie Hope's Practical Atlantean Magic. Um, again, something I'm going to reread again and again. A little bit more technical in some aspects, but she also has a really great connection to the original um, Atlantean gods and goddesses, the high priests and priests, some of their magical rites, the way that they would use certain uh, sacred vessels, tools, instruments. Um, and it's just it's just really interesting and and you know she she quotes a lot of things in here and always two of the things that people quote the most are Edgar Casey's um, Edgar Casey's downloads of Atlantis and everything that he channeled which I've read but I don't own and um, the second one is of course the great works by Plato and that is kind of what helped keep Atlantis alive all these all these thousands of years because um, even though people have shoved it off as fluff in effect um, it's helped keep it in our consciousness now some other books that are not necessarily on Atlantis but contain Atlantean themes uh, Atlantean knowledge and higher wisdom such as that is the flower of life or the secret the ancient secret to the flowers of life by uh, Drenvalo Melchizedek. There's volume one, there's volume two. Atlanteans, of course, worked very closely with uh, sacred geometry, with higher light, with, you know, advanced mathematics. And they are the reason that Egypt became the civilization that it did. So a lot of that information is uh, interested in those books. And then I have this one that I got in, you know, a used bookstore and I haven't had a chance to dive fully into it yet from Atlantis to the Sphinx uh, by Colin Wilson, but I'm definitely looking forward to that. And lastly, lastly, my books um, is this Atlantean Secrets series, volumes one through four by Samuel Sagan. Now, these books are written as a narrative but but there's so many truths in there and really what's happening is that they're experiencing at least one of the downfalls floods or disasters that was associated with the Atlantean times so so far I've only read the first one which is sleeper awaken and the second one uh, forever love white eagle but I am um, I really enjoyed them and uh, there's two more books in this series that I know of. One is uh, The Gods Are Wise. And the last one, The Return of the Flying Dragon. So again, there's those dragons. Um, another resource for Atlantis are these wonderful uh, cards by Diana Cooper. And honestly, yourself truly, as a devotee, a high priestess, and a queen of Atlantis, as always, it is my honor, my privilege, my duty to speak about it, to heal people from the trauma, to help them remember their ancient roles, and um, really to help it rise. Once again, there's, there's so much more I could say about it, but that's it for now. So, uh, like I said, I'm currently writing blogs on it. I do offer a ton of Atlantean healings. And honestly, almost anything you do with me is always going to have that Atlantean magic in it because that is part of who I am. But I offer Atlantean healings, Atlantean soul retrievals, Atlantean Reiki, um, past life healings of Atlantis. All of those include crystal healing. And of course, I teach about it. Uh, tomorrow is week two of ancient civilizations. And we are in Atlantis week. And if you're just curious about it, if you just want to try that one class, you can always message me or or you can email me at priscillalightworker at gmail.com and I can send you the Zoom link, the email packet, plus all the bonuses that you'll be getting because um, I can also offer it just, just a per class basis, right? 
So anyways, my, my love and my light to everybody. I'm uh, going to get back to writing my blog. I'm totally in Atlantean state and I absolutely love it. So I'm sending you much love and gratitude. Happy, happy Sunday and have a wonderful week.